Hello, Sinead here, and I just thought I would re-upload the footage of those white chocolate and cranberry vegan cookies I made just before Christmas. So here I have some grapeseed oil, a vegan white chocolate and almond bar. I ended up using about one bar and a half in the end. Some Valencia orange extract, some dried cranberries, and I have some coconut milk from Alpro. Now, because it was late, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to make. In the end, I settled on cookies. So here I have some sugar in a mixing bowl. I'm just adding the grapeseed oil. And as much as I use measuring cups and sometimes scales, I tend to eyeball a lot of stuff as well. There I just added some salt and then I'm whisking that together. Now, I'm not a chef. So if you do want to prepare these cookies, I suggest you try a tried and tested recipe for vegan cookies, chocolate chip cookies that you like. And then you just use slightly less oil because the orange extract actually contains oil, which is why it's always good to read the labels and packaging of products before you incorporate them in your cooking and baking. So I've just added the orange extract and coconut milk and I'm whisking that all together until it forms a smooth batter or mixture. Now because it was late and I was peckish and I was feeling to indulge as most people do at this time of year, I decided to start adding flour before taking out a sieve. I know rookie move, a mistake on my part but I did then take out the sieve that's why the mixture is looking so smooth here. So I crushed up the bar of chocolate and then added the cranberries. Ended up, ended up adding a little bit more cranberries and another half of a chocolate bar. And then when I mixed that all together, I scooped it out onto my pre-lined baking tray. And this is what they look like when they were done absolutely delicious, really nice and soft in the middle. I don't know about anyone else, but baked goods always taste best to me when they are still warm. Here I was, it was late, I had my face mask on. You can tell how much I love food. Just looking at these cookies makes me want to make some more because they didn't last long at all when everyone got to them the next day. So yeah, I'm just stuffing my face. I especially like to take advantage of the festive season to do just that and to be thankful and grateful for everything that I have. But anyway, I will leave a list of the ingredients I used below. As I said, I'm not sure about exact measurements. But I'm glad I have this footage and footage of all the things I experiment with in the kitchen that I can look back on if I ever do want to write down the order and how I prepared the food, you know? Leave comments down below. Let me know what you think.